More than 50 years later, though, there's still a lot that we don't know, or things that we thought we knew that aren't quite so clear-cut. The Apollo samples led scientists to believe that the moon's surface was dry. But a 2009 Indian mission detected hydrated minerals on the moon's surface. A closer look at the data showed ice in many of the moon's shadowed areas. Almost a decade after the initial detection, even more water was discovered in the sunlit regions of one of the moon's craters. So there's water on the moon, but... We don't know how much there is. Uh, we're trying to do these measurements of ice at the pole of the moon, and they're all, they're all kind of conflicting right now. Some of them say we should have a lot. Some of them say we don't have very much at all. Did the moon have this water to begin with? Because if it did, that could conflict with our leading theory about how the moon came to be. The story goes, a mass-sized object collided with the Earth, and the debris from that collision formed the moon. When you have the moon forming in this big collision, that should bake out all the water. And so how do you get some remnant water to be retained in the lunar mantle? The amount of water on the moon also affects the formation of rocks there, which brings us to our third lunar mystery. A team of researchers led by Dr. Sigler found large amounts of granite on the surface of the moon, a rock that on Earth is formed under specific conditions. Granite basically takes a lot more heat. It's, it's something that happens on Earth, driven by plate tectonics a lot. But on the moon, where you don't have plate tectonics, you can still create these evolved rocks somehow. But the newly found granite rocks require more water than we thought was there, or alternatively, more heat. Unraveling such mysteries could help us better understand not just the moon, but other celestial bodies too. Places like the moon preserve these early stages of how the geology of a planet developed in a way that we've totally lost on Earth.